Hello everyone, welcome, I'm DingoX3 Gamer and we're doing a Attack of the B-Team tutorial today. Uh, actually what we're doing is making a grinder so you can eventually get some mob essence and then in the end get some emeralds, right? Is that what we're uh, doing? Yeah, that pretty much uh, sums it up. <laughs> okay, alright. So first thing what we're going to do is uh, Mr. Delepi here is going to show you how to make the actual grinder, so we're going to have to use a pulverizer. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, the crafting recipe, you have to have an Envar sword, which takes the Envar ingots. Okay. And that is something you can't mine in the world. So you're going to need a pulverizer, and all you do is you take the iron ore, uh, you need power for the pulverizer, and then you just let me set that to no signal and if you click on this one right here you can see the iron ore is being pulverized right okay it gives you uh, pulverized iron and ferrous material as a byproduct you need two uh, pulverized iron for each ferrous material so like right like that and then it gives you this envar blend you see that mm-hmm so you take the blend and then you just put it in a uh, furnace, which I've got a, a redstone furnace. You can use a regular vanilla Minecraft furnace and you just put it in there. So it's and... now smelting the invar down into ingots. Yep. And this is uh, just to make the sword for the crafting recipe, which this is the crafting recipe right here. If you know you go to your too many items, Type in grinder down below, and then you'll see all the materials you need to make this actual grinder. Uh, if you need to see how to make one of the items, if you click on that item in there, it then shows you how to make that item also. Alright, and also if you see in there, there is uh, plastic sheets. Mm -hmm. That is something. Uh, you find rubber trees around the world, and they, they can drop rubber saplings, and they also drop what is called raw rubber okay. and all you do is you put it in a uh, furnace this furnace or a regular furnace and as you can see it makes rubber bars what you do is you take these uh, rubber bars and you just put them back in the furnace again and it should give you let's see what it's called okay so all plastic okay so you double smelt them and then once you get four raw plastics you just put them in a crafting table just put them in like that and it makes four plastic sheets. Okay. And that is how you get the plastic sheets for that. <laughs> um, the machine frame, I don't know if you're on the too many items thing. Uh, yeah, we're looking at the recipe right now. <clears throat> yeah. Also, uh, another thing is steel. All you need to do to make steel is take iron ingot. Uh, still have some, yeah. And then I'll just bring it back over to this furnace. And you just put the iron, once you smelt the iron and you get the iron ingots, you just put the iron ingots back in a furnace and smelt it, smelt the ingots again and it gives you steel ingots. So okay. that's how you get the steel. And that's used for making the... Machine frame for the grinder. Okay. <laughs> yeah, four blocks of glass, four steel ingots, and one gold. And it gives you a machine frame. And then uh, the other thing you'll need are the tin gears. Uh, if you look at it, it's just four tin surrounding an iron ingot. And then uh, you just have books, regular Minecraft books, and the redstone reception cell, which is just two redstone and a gold ingot. So that stuff is all pretty fairly easy to come by and make, right. especially with this mod pack. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It seems like resources are really available in this mod pack. Okay, so we've got the how to make the actual grinder, uh, showed them how to do the recipe, smelt, and do all that stuff. So once they have the grinder, then how do they power it? Anything that can produce, I think it's MF or MJ or RF. We'll just use this over here. I've already got one set up right here. So what you do is you have your source blocks right Going in here. for a dip there? <laughs> You've got your source <laughs> blocks and you just set your aqueous accumulator and if you right click it you can see it's uh, filled up with water right there on the right hand side. 
and that just supplies you with constant water. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a steam dynamo, which I believe that's from thermal. Yeah, it's from thermal expansion. And you just set it on top. <laughs> and if you right click it, you can see on the right side it's filling up with water. Right. It, it needs a, a source to make fuel. Um, the easiest way is coal or charcoal. Uh, you can use saplings, I believe, or um, So pretty much anything that burns in a furnace. Yep, that's pretty much it. Okay. All right, so once you plug your coal in here, you can see it's uh, it's going to light up, turn red. On the left side, you got your steam. Okay. And that steam is going to make power. You can see in the middle, uh, that blue bar is filling up in the middle. That is your power. Okay. So once it reaches 40,000 RF, it's all full powered and ready to go. Yep. And then all you need to uh, work that is you just take some of your uh, energy conduit and you just set it on top and you route it to wherever you need it to go. In this case, uh, we're going to have it routed to a few places, um, such as the grinder and then the auto spawner for the emerald. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to a big open place somewhere that it's easily uh, easy to see everything that, that he does and uh, lays it out so that you can pause the video at any time. So we'll see you when we come back, guys. Okay, well, welcome back. Uh, we're now in the area. We're going to show you how to build this. Uh, what size is this building right here? What, 9x9 nine nine, you said? Yeah, this inside platform is 9x9, nine nine, which gives you the best uh, ratio for making the grinder, or making the spawner spawn. Okay, so this is the base platform for the spawn grinder that we're going to show you. Uh, now I'm going to show you all the materials you need for this project. Uh, all these up here are for the smeltery. Uh, this right here is a lava, a tank with lava in it to fuel the smeltery. Then you obviously have the grinder that we showed you how to make, the auto spawner, and once again, all you have to do is go to too many items down here and uh, you know type in whatever item it is. This one's the auto spawner, so you can type in auto, and that it'll yeah, it'll show you how to build the auto spawner right here those are the items uh, once again machine frame is needed for that uh, then down here we have the oculus accumulator which is used for the steam dynamo and some blocks of coal and then the fluid ducts and we'll explain everything but uh, you can pause this if you want whenever just to look at to see what items you'll need for this Okay, so now we're ready for the next step. After you've built your 9x9 room, uh, make sure it's four blocks high, uh, just like this. Uh, that allows for the drop with the conveyors, right? Yep, and I just want to clarify, I've done, I've messed up a few times. The actual base pad is 9x9, nine nine. then you have your walls on the outside. Okay. And then, uh, next thing, just we're going to have the spawners in here. We'll save that for last so they're not bothering us while we're setting up. But you're just going to take these uh, conveyor belts and you want to place them the way you're facing. Here, I'll toss you if you, if you want to show them. Uh, it matters on what direction you place them. Like if I place them that way and I stand right here, it's going to take me that way. Right. So you want to be facing the direction that you want the conveyors to actually run. Yep. Just like that. Basically, what we're uh, trying to do is take all the uh, mobs into one spot so they're going to spawn take this conveyor belt and they're going to fall take this conveyor belt and then they're going to drop down down to uh, where we want them to stay right for the so uh, grinder I could, to I kill could them. literally just ride this and show them <laughs> so then they'll drop down here and then when they drop down here this will be the rest of the grinder area Yep. So that's how to put up the conveyor belts to properly get the mobs to go where you want them to go. So we'll see you in the next step. Okay, so now that you've got the conveyor belts laid down, all facing this way, running down into these two conveyor belts, you're going to want to come down, build one, two blocks down in the center right here, and then fill these sides in. And obviously, I think this area is also going to be enclosed in the end. But yeah. right here... One, two, three blocks down is gonna where the grinder is gonna be placed. We're not gonna place it there yet because the first thing we need to do is come over here, 
uh, we have a infinite water supply. Uh, this infinite water supply is going to provide the water for the thermo power. So if we want to go ahead and put in the aqueous accumulator is what this is called. As you can see it's filling up on the right hand side. On top of the aqu aqueous accumulator is going to be the steam dynamo. Uh, steam dynamo is going to be fed water by the aqueous accumulator. Uh, then you want to place your coal, wood, whatever's burnable in a regular furnace over here on this side which then creates the steam and then your power fills up. Uh, we'll look real quick to see uh, what a steam dynamo, how to, how to make that real quick. And uh, it's right here. Oh wait, I am in... I just gave myself a whole <laughs> bunch of them because I'm in cheat mode because we're cheating. Um, so what we want to do, come over here, uh, it's going to take a redstone transmission coil, which we already showed you how to make, uh, two copper gears, two, three copper ingots, and one redstone, that makes your steam dynamo, and as you know, if you click on the other items, it'll show you how to make those sub items also. Uh, after you place the thermo dynamo, you want to use, you can use regular, uh, lead energy conduit. Uh, instead of the hardened, the hardened takes a little bit more material. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button here. So, I'll show you the lead conduit. And that's right here. And it takes three, six redstone, two lead ingots, and one piece of glass will make six leadstone energy conduits. And that's what creates the energy conduit for our grinder which we're going to place down here so uh, the lefty going to place the grinder here uh, and then run the conduit for us and then do you want to uh, mention the crescent hammer yeah the crescent hammer is uh, what's used on uh, all of these machines so this is the crescent hammer. It's very simple to make, pretty cheap. It's just three iron ingots and one tin ingot creates a crescent hammer. And the crescent hammer uh, comes in very handy uh, for e machines because you can rotate them. Uh, and what is it? Shift and right yeah, you can shift and right click, and it works on this conduit too. You know, it's much easier than using a pick. I can just keep it like that and basically insta click destroy them right so it takes it apart pretty much for you instead of having to break it apart with a pick so we're gonna run the power over to the grinder itself here and it just instantly hooks up it's connected texture and as you can tell it's already got power in there now okay yep the powers filled up that's what it'll look like when the power does fill up and then over here on the right hand side we're gonna place down some tanks, and the tanks are made with uh, obsidian and glass panes, I believe. That's the recipe for the tanks. It's uh, four obsidian and four uh, five glass panes, and that'll make you two tanks for each recipe. Then you want to place the tanks down here beside the grinder, and now it takes a different pipe. Right? It's called, yeah, it's a uh, fluid duct. So and instead the, of uh, the uh, conduit, the energy conduit, it's a uh, fluid duct. Which fluid ducts? Um, you're going to want the, you can use the clear, there's a clear one and an opaque. The opaque is kind of like the leadstone one. It's the basic form and it will do everything you need it to do. You just won't be able to see inside of the pipe. Okay, so this is the recipe for it. It's two copper ingots and one lead ingot. Really cheap. It makes six uh, actual conduit pipes for you. Uh, that's going to let the fluid flow out of the grinder. The fluid is the mob essence. That's what we're trying to collect here so that we can make this auto grinder. Uh, more efficient and uh, that's how uh, it collects the mob essence. Uh, the crescent hammer then is used right here just like that. He's uh, used the crescent hammer on it to make these little red arrows pop up which will make the flow go this way. 
otherwise it won't flow through the pipe down into there uh, now this that I've picked up is a pneumatic servo it's not uh, it's not very hard to make uh, let's see the recipe for that is two glass uh, two glass blocks two iron ingots and one redstone that'll give you a pneumatic servo and then you just want to take the pneumatic servo and right click right here and then you'll be able to come in here we want to leave it blacklisted and on the redstone control you want you want it to be ignored and that way uh, it what the pneumatic servo does is it basically pulls the item out uh, which would be the liquid and you can pull more of it out at like at a uh, higher rate so it'll fill this up faster okay mm. so now that we showed you how to power it where to place it the next step is to show you how to get these actual spawners in here as you can see uh, the 9 by 9 room were not directly in the center but that doesn't matter place two blocks uh, two blocks three blocks away from the wall right here and then on the front of these blocks you're gonna place uh, well not like that yeah like I said they're, they're uh, that that's quite what tricky. you don't want to do <laughs> you want this the black hole is where the spawners are going to be and you so, have to remember so right, to leave a space right so right here right where those cobblestone blocks are that's actually where the spawners are gonna teleport to alright so the next step is you need a target card uh, to make the target card. Oh wait, hold on. We didn't uh, show them, how to, show make them how to make a teleporter block. Okay, the recipe for the teleporter block is three, six, seven obsidian, uh, focused ender pearl, and a redstone comparator. The focused ender pearl it's pretty cheap, uh, considering there's lots of diamonds on this map. So you need four diamonds, four redstone, and one ender pearl. That makes you the focused ender and then you want the redstone comparator is just basic three stone three redstone torches and another quartz and you've got yourself a redstone comparator and uh, you can make your block teleporter all right so next step is we want to take this uh, target uh, card forgot what it was called for a second and you just want to shift click if you're flying if you hold shift and spacebar it holds you at that height so you can shift click something and then you just want to slap it with the right click and then if we hover over it it will now show us the coordinates the target coordinates for where we want these spawner blocks to teleport to so as you can see it's negative 736 77 783 is our coordinates right now so now we're gonna fly over here to where we found a couple of witch spawners not too also, far away. Uh, you'll want to uh, throw some torches down so when you get back and the uh, spawners are there, you don't have a bunch of witches waiting for you. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, you're going to want to stand next to and aim for this grass block right here. Stand next to it and just place it. And uh, if you stand right there, Dingo, you can see see the little black hole in there. You can see it's lined up where you want it. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do it with both of these spawners. And then uh, I know Dingo has a card and I have a card. And uh, you're just going to right click on the block teleporter. And you see the little spot for the target card? Well, you uh, you just. Oh, you the put the card, card in there. Yeah, you got to put the card right. in. Right. Okay. There and we go. And poof, it should be gone. Okay. So that's how you do it. Now it teleported to the coordinates that we gave it to teleport to. So here we go. We have two witch spawners right here where we wanted them to teleport to. Okay, so the uh, next step basically is to just put a front or a facade on the front and cover everything up. That's uh, up to your uh, your preference, what, yeah. what you want it to look like pretty much. So as long as your building looks like this, the right dimensions, and the mob spawners in the proper placement so they flow down the uh, conveyor belts and then fall down this hole uh, when we come back we will show you what it looks like when it's all covered up okay so after you've built the entire building and closed in the area where the mobs spawn at I guess the next thing you want to do is hurry up and take out the torches before you get killed by poison <laughs> like the witches are throwing so 
uh, the mob spawners put off their own light, but it's not affecting their spawn rate. Uh, we've made a little observation room here off to the side to show you guys what it looks like inside of here. Uh, also, it's pretty cool to watch them spawn and then flow down in where they're supposed to go. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is go down and show you the grinder. And uh, can we get down there? Yep. As you can see, there's already a, uh, already a bunch of stuff. Or what way did you go? Did I you went go down here to the actual okay. grinder. So what's... What's going to happen, this is the front area that we showed you. You can just see the edges of the conveyor belts and a witch coming down right now. Then the grinder right there, yep, it kills it and sucks up everything out of it. Whatever it drops, all the mob essence. Uh, we've got our, our machine generating power. Uh, that right there that I accidentally picked up is actually whatever the witches are dropping. Uh, and it, uh, it pops out of that hole right there. An uh, easy way, if you'd like to collect the drops, you can just put a chest there, and it should start filling up. You'll see that. See if he knows what he's talking about. Oh, he does know what he's talking about. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe that's why he's doing the tutorial with me. All right, so <laughs> when they actually drop essence, though, it's going to... Gonna... have to uh, come down here, and you can see it's starting to build up. Uh, it's going to take a while. Um, but you can see the tank is a 625 out of 16,000. Right. Okay. Yeah. If you guys look at the top of my screen after you heard the uh, the witch fall just then, it was 625. Now it's 650. I don't know at what point you start seeing the mob essence, what level, but uh, it is filling up. Whether it looks like it is or it, it's not, it is actually filling up. As long as you can look at it and see that level going up, it is working. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's green. Yep, we can start seeing the mob essence building up. So, like, uh, somewhere around 850, it looks like. So, there it is. That's your mob grinder. Um, we haven't made it fully into a fully automatic grinder yet, but uh, that's the next step. So, join us in the next episode of this tutorial on the Attack of the B Team on Dingo X3 Gamer. That's the Lefty 24. As always, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Slam that like button. You guys, take care. See you next time.